Hey, hey, I'm Dave Ratt, and let's talk about balanced lines. Um, tried to make a mechanical contraption to see if it would demonstrate it well. We'll see. Let me know if this makes sense and um, helps for anyone that um, to try and get the point across. And um, that was something to do. So I made this. Um, balance line demo unit here to try and demonstrate um, how they work. Basically the green uh, bar represents ground, the red bar will represent pin 2, and the black will represent pin 3. Um, if I were, let's put the input on the bottom, let's say we have a microphone and there's a coil of wire and this is attached to one end of the coil of wire, this is attached to the other end of the coil of wire, and this ground is attached to the microphone housing and just acting as a shield around the, um, the microphone to, and also around the wire, around the uh, wires in the cable. And when that coil moves back and forth, it creates a voltage and it will increase as the diaphragm moves in and then out, it will send voltage back and forth um, between pin 2 and pin 3. And the ground stays at 0 volts and it moves back and forth. Now the ground on a balanced line is not really necessary. So we could actually get rid of the ground or not get rid of the ground, but we can um, and we can move it off to the side there. And we can see that even with the ground not connected we still can have a coil generating a balanced line. Now on the other end, on the receiving end of the balanced line circuit, we have a mixing board that takes the positive voltage and it takes the negative voltage, not the negative voltage, the in polarity and the outer polarity, the equal and opposite voltages, and it reverses polarity in one and sums them together. And if you look at the scope over here, we can see uh, we have the in polarity is the first, the blue here. The outer polarity is the yellow. And it doesn't really matter if the sine wave is going up or down. It just matters that they're equal and opposite. Balanced lines are truly balanced. They're, both pins are always hot. Um, they're equal and opposite. And the red trace shows the subtraction of the two, or basically reversing the polarity of the yellow one and adding it together to create the red one. Um, so the ground is not involved. There's a coil of wire that's generating that and going down the wire. What happens with an unbalanced line? Well, with an unbalanced line, what we do is we combine one of those wires. Let's combine Actually, let's do it the other way. Let's combine the black wire. We'll call that pin three. Oh, and we have a collapse of the unit. Um, we'll combine that wire with, we'll move that over and we'll combine that wire with the ground. So we're gonna short the ground and one of those two together. And this forms our unbalanced circuit. So an unbalanced circuit, that coil is generating electricity, the coil in the microphone, or whatever signal is being sent. And since this is a ground now, and I'm also um, using these mic, mic stand and clip holding on to this to represent the ground. It's grounded, it doesn't move, it's a zero volt. So now what happens is, when the voltage is sent, just the one wire moves in relation. So there's an unbalanced signal. And the, as we saw before, the uh, balance signal. So we can look over at the scope and I can unbalance the signals that we have here. So I can take and short. And if you're looking at the scope here, you can see it's moving a little bit. Let me do the other one because it'll, um, not, uh, it'll grab the sink trigger. There we go. So now I've shorted um, this pin to ground 
and we saw the yellow one get bigger and the output stays about the same. So we can try that. And there's it shorted. That's an unbalanced signal where we double the size of the yellow versus the two smaller signals that are out of polarity and added together. And we get the output there. So that's what's represented with the unbalanced signal. Um, if we go back to the balanced line, one of the advantages of balanced lines, um, I mean, both of those work very similarly in uh, actual function. And the balanced line requires a little bit of electric, uh, extra electronics on the front end of the mixing board. One of the advantages of a balanced line is, and I can't do it here, but if a signal is induced onto both of these, like I was to move the mic stand while this is going here, and this is still moving up and down. If I move the mic stand, if I create a, um, and if this was held still, the ground didn't move. Um, that would create a signal that's on both this red and black wire. Well, just like we saw here, when we have two signals that are opposite and they've been subtractive and the input mic pre's of our consoles are subtractive and they create that doubling, well, I can actually go and show you what happens if the same signal is on both of them. And here we can see that, I'll turn this down, um, the red line is the output when I have an additive signal. I basically added the two signals together instead of subtracted them. And because they're equal and opposite, when we add them together, we get nothing. Well, the sense signals on a balanced line are equal and opposite, but any noise that gets induced on the line is not equal and opposite. It's the same for both. So when this subtractive preamp is on the front end of your mixing on balance line input, it adds together anything that's the opposite and cancels out anything that's the same, therefore giving us a noise reduction system. All right, hope that makes sense. Um, there's something to do. I've been trying to envision in my head, how can I demonstrate um, how a balance line works? And um, this is my first try. Tell me if you like it. Cool, cool.